Yeah, let me perhaps start uh, by recalling a, a study done 10 years ago by the FAO, by FAO about the situation of, the, of water in the world. You know, we have the illusion and the impression that we have water because sea is around, but it's not true. Fresh water is not there and uh, people are even scaring to have a, the, the, the war of water because it will be a big issue for people in, uh, in the cities to continue washing the cars and they're washing them, to water their garden, they would like to have a green garden everywhere, uh, the way they are showering. You know, compare to a nomadic guy in the Sahel who has small quantity of water, perhaps five liter, and he will be going with his livestock for thousand and uh, less than a thousand, uh, some <laughs> 25 or 20, uh, 30 kilometers using only those five liters, you see the, the, the comparison, how much water are we using in the, in the cities compared to those, uh, it's kind of, uh, let's say, a, a, a gap between uh, rural areas and uh, urban areas. It's why we need really now to call the attention of people, to warn them about the use of water, because one day we'll be sitting without fresh water. We're sitting with only with salt water of the sea, but this one is very expensive, we want to treat them to have a fresh water. It's why I think it's important for us now to think about how we're going to use the water. For washing the cars, is it really necessary to wash the car every day? I'm not sure. About showering, you open the water, you, sh you shower for 10 minutes, uh, listening to radio, uh, whistling and singing al alone in the, in the bathroom while, while water is going out, and also even uh, uh, watering the garden. So it's why it's important for us really to warn all the citizens for them to have a citizenship behavior uh, uh, towards uh, the use of water. Thank you.